Today in this video, I'll be overviewing the 2023 season so far. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And yes, from the title and intro, I'll be doing an NBA overview so far. Now, I did do one about a month ago. I, I did an overview when it was about a month into the season. But now we're about halfway through the season. So today, I'm going to be reviewing the season so far on the first half of the season. What's gone down with different teams and teams that have done well and teams that have gone very bad and should have done better. And where what the ladder positions are at the moment. So there it is, NBA Overview 2022. Now, this is probably my second one for this year. I did do one earlier for in the first month of the NBA, but we're going to go through. Now, we're going to have a look in at the NBA app. We're going to go in and have a look and have a quick look through. So, NBA. We're about a month in. It's about January. Happy New Year, by the way. Hope you guys had a good New Year's. It's about January 9th or 10th today about a few days after New Year, so NBA had a good Christmas, good December period for some teams, but we're going to go through, so top headlines for the NBA, is the main one everyone's talking about is LeBron, LeBron James chasing down Kareem's for most points, that's the scoring tracker there, chasing down Kareem, now he's only 422 points away from breaking the record, so when will LeBron break it, everyone, all the ESPN analysis are saying like February, early, late February. I think it could be even earlier because this is where he's sitting. Second second on 790, 700, 3,700, 965 points. So he's only 422 away. So he's averaging 27.2 points per game. If he, if, he, if he scores that many points, he only needs 16 more games to break the record. So this... Was his last four games January eighth, which was yesterday. Uh he he dropped thirty seven points in a two point win over the Kings, and then January seventh on a back to back dropped twenty five, then forty three, then season high forty seven, and then twenty eight. So he's dropping big buckets, and the next five games is at Denver, then four straight at home against Mavericks, Seventy Sixers, Rockets, and Kings. So he could break it. I, I'm I'm going to predict if he keeps doing what he's doing, I'm going to say late, very late January. I'm going to say probably January 25th to 30th. And then probably just a bit early February. That's what I'm saying. Between late January and early February is where I'm saying, I think if he keeps going like this, that's what's going to happen. More on NBA. Today, Kevin Durant exits early due to a knee injury right knee so he's I haven't there's more information on this later but he is looking like he's going to miss some time so with Kevin Durant out how good the Nets are going how will they will they keep winning some games without Kevin Durant it's going to be tough they did win in Miami by one with a Russell tip in when Kevin Durant left in the third quarter so a lot to up for the Nets here but it is still NBA All Star voting. If you haven't seen my NBA All Star tip video, um, tip video, I'll put it in up in the cards for you guys to watch. I did an NBA All Star voting on my starters for East and West. Go check that one out if you haven't already. And more, we'll go to the ladder now. And there's a lot to talk about in the ladder now. We'll, we'll talk about the Warriors in a second. But first off, we'll look at the top five teams in the East now. Starting off with the Celtics on top. They've been on. They've been on top all season so far. They've been pretty well on top. Late, they have lost some. They have lost some in a row. They they did started winning like eight in a row, and then they started losing like four, five, and they're starting winning again. The Nets, on the other hand, went on a twelve game winning streak. The twelve game winning streak, coming from fifth all the way up to second, twelve game winning streak, and now winning two, losing about I think two straight, and then now winning two straight. So Nets really are in a place where that yes it's very early it's not really early you're at halfway in the season you really want to be looking at the top 10 top 8 range if you want to you don't want to be like in the bottom five if you want to be up up close to your seven to first if you when you're halfway through the season if you think of the next last year nets i think were shocking at the halfway point and then they were 
getting better. So we're about 40 games in. For most people, we're about 40 games in, 35, 45 games in between that range for most teams. Moving on down to the Bucks, the Bucks going pretty well with Giannis. The MVPs are with Jason Tatum, Durant, Giannis. The Cavs, though, loving where the Cavs are at the moment. Cavs could honestly go the whole way and even through to the playoffs. But they're looking good, 25 wins, 15 losses, followed by Philadelphia, then Indiana. Indiana has come out unbelievable. I really thought Miami would be up higher, balls to be up higher. But Indiana are going pretty well. They're sitting six. They've won two straight. They've got Tyrese Halbo and Miles Turner to carry them, but they're looking good, the Indiana Pacers right now. They're looking pretty good on where they're sitting. But if you see in the east, the top... The top two are very close. The bottom, the top six, the top six, five, four, and three, Bucks, Cavs, Philadelphia, and Pacers are very close in points. So there, there could, there's a, could be a big jump in the Bucks and Cavs jump there, but not really too. If we go down to the bottom, Magic, unbelievable against the Warriors, we'll talk about in a sec, but Magic, Charlotte, and Detroit are looking okay. They have, they, aren't, they haven't won a lot of games, but they are slowly increasing, very slowly. West now, Denver, absolutely stunning on top. It's 26 wins, 13 losses. Now the West, I've looked at this. The West is very close. Let me just fix this camera. The West right now is very close. The West is close in top top nine, I think, West is West is close. If, if Denver loses two straight, they'll drop down to, like, third. If Pelicans win two straight, they'll jump up to first. If Kings win three straight, they'll jump up to third. So a lot of movement in the West, which is what I like, because where the Warriors are sitting, pretty happy. But then you've got Memphis second, sitting second, Pelicans third. Dallas sitting fourth on a one-game win streak. Memphis are winning six straight. Dallas have won seven straight, but they've lost. Surprising where the Kings are sitting. Now, this is where it's very close. Very close, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This is where it's close. You could say 10 as well. But where Phoenix Phoenix and Warriors have tied, we're both tied on 20 wins, 20 losses, a game on 500. So Phoenix have lost 5, we have lost 2, Portland have lost 3. So when you're looking at this, Phoenix play Cavs today. I really want Cavs to win because that means... Phoenix will drop down to 20 and 21, which will jump Warriors up to 7th, which I'm really looking forward to. And then Blazers sitting at 9th. So I, I lost today from Blazers, dropped them down to 9th, which I'm pumped as, because the Warriors need to get up this ladder pretty quick. If we do, if we do, we'll go we'll go to the East Phoenix, because that is probably better to look through. Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, we know the Warriors shocking, absolutely. But... If we go to the Warriors, we go to the standings here, and we'll just we'll go down and we'll hit Warriors. We hit Warriors. Can we hit on the Warriors team? Yes, we can. So the Warriors he- heading into a eight game home stand. We after we won straight five straight at home on the home stand, we lost two straight against Detroit shockingly and against Magic horribly. Clay though he did leave early in the warm-ups against the Magic, so he was predicted to start, and then he left with knee uh, soreness, so he's probably going to be out against the Suns. But if you look on the bright side of the Warriors, the five-game win streak was really needed to where we were at. We really needed that to move up the standings real quick. And the shocking loss against Pistons, we get that. And a shocking, shocking loss against Magic. We lost against Pistons 2-0 in the series, 0-2 in the series, and we lost Magic 0-2 in the regular season series. So we lost both of the worst teams nearly in, in the East by a cl- close amount of points. Magic, shocking though. But what is going to be good, a, crutch, a clunch game, is Wednesday's game against the Suns. Now, coming in, you've got the Suns out. is Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Cam Johnson, and Cameron Payne is also an out, maybe. And then with the Warriors, Jamal Green still out, Kaminga still out, Wiseman still out, Curry still out. He is all, and also Clay Thompson is day to day. But with the Warriors though, we do get back Andrew Wiggins and Andre Iguodala. Now with that Magic game here, in this game, 
Andrew Wiggins returned from the injury. He missed like 15 straight games. And Nigadala season debuted this year. So getting back those guys in a shocking loss against Magic, we understand. We're losing against a shocking team like Magic. We should have won that game you know, on the road against Magic, but we lost. But on the bright side, we're, getting, we, we're still injury prone. Not injury prone, we're still injured. Most of our team. Curry's out. Clay's injured. As you just got Andrew Wiggins back, he'll start getting back healthier. He'll start getting some games in our training, and then he'll start getting back to his health. Health. Iguodala, you probably won't suspect him playing every game this back end of the season. But as we get him back healthier, our team will get healthier. When Curry gets back, he's predicted Curry to return on the Spurs game. So this game here, the first game after the homestand, he's suspected to return to start a five-game road trip. Now, we're coming into that road trip. We should win against Spurs. We at least want to win some games on the road because we can't go fall to 3-21 and 21 on the road. That should just be dreadful if we can. If we can at least win against Spurs on the road, hopefully against Bulls, Wizards, and we've got Celtics on the road, then Cavs. So. And we come home to play Nets, Grizzlies, then Raptors. So a lot to come in the Warriors, though. But yes. I heard Steve Kerr say with Andre Iguodala, they're going to save him for the back end of the season, which we've done here. But that's what the Warriors are at the moment. We are, I love when we are sitting at 8th. All we want to do is Phoenix to lose today so we can jump up to 7th. And if Clippers do lose today, um, they will go drop to 21-21. They'll probably still stay 6th. But a lot to happen, guys. This is really updates in NBA right now. Free agency, trade. Trade deadline's coming up pretty soon. But that's all the overview is, just seeing where the Warriors are, where every other NBA team is. All-star voting's coming up. That's Luka Doncic up there with points. Giannis, Shea. Assists, though. Where's Curry? Curry, three points made. He's the top leader in three points made. Then followed by Clay at third. And that's it. That's all the overview is. Um, Kevin Durant is now left. Mitchell with the 71-point performance. Amazing. Um, yeah, but stay tuned, guys, for the Warriors game against the Suns on Wednesday. If the Warriors win that game, there will be a game review saying that now if Warriors beat the Suns in that game, there will be a review. If they lose, I hope there might be a game review. You'll see, but we've lost two straight against Phoenix, shockingly, away. But now we get two straight at home against Phoenix. Can we get it done with Booker and Chris Paul out? Hopefully. That is it, guys. Thanks for the NBA overview. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep up to date with NBA. Get the NBA app. Get the ESPN app. Everything will be there for you guys to go look at. All the overview was looking where the NBA is so far. Teams look pretty good. Um, I, should, I would love to see in the next month Heat to jump up the ladder a little bit. The Warriors, if we can at least, if we can get to the top six at the end of January or close in that top six range, if we can get at least to a playoff spot, I'll be happy where we are. But we are sitting at eighth, pretty close. The West is close. That's really it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, enjoy life and have fun. Peace.